Establish the date. I can't really help him with that because if the chick doesn't like you, uh, it's your problem. <laughs> but I can show you a way to get there. So uh, I'm just going to call the lucky lady on my cell phone right here. You guys hear it? <laughs> is this Mrs. Sarah Conrad? Hi, this is WNGR, Coast to Coast Morning Radio. You want a date with Brad Pitt? <laughs> Congratulations. He will be at Checkers uh, waiting for you. Table 8, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Uh, just so you know, he has red hair, and he'll be a little different in real life. <laughs> All right, that's great. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> All right, so now you got your date. You got your date established, and uh, you gotta figure out what you're gonna wear. See, I already got uh, the the good attire on. Got the nice little bam. <laughs> Not yet, Mike. <laughs> and uh, I got the jeans. You know. Casual, you gotta act casual. All right, so then, you drive, of course, right? To pick up this girl, you gotta be like, don't speed. Her, da her dad will get angry if you pull it fast. So you're driving, and if you sing to the radio, get it out now. <laughs> so you gotta be like, uh, Mike, can you uh, hit track one? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm driving, right? Driving to her house? Yeah. It's a good time, good time. <laughs> yeah, alright, it's good. So you arrive at, you arrive at her house, right? Ring the doorbell, pick her up. <laughs> hey Judy, how are you? <laughs> Oh, that's good. You ready for our date? All right, let's go. So, um, the date, the actual date, where you're going to go depends on what you're going to try. <laughs> oh, come on. That's not what I mean. You know it. <laughs> so now you got the, uh, if you were at the movies, right? Everyone knows the, uh, the, uh, Oh, yawn, oh. <laughs> never, never do that. That's a failure waiting to happen. Which, if you're going to try that move, go to the planetarium. Oh, look at the stars, huh? Oh. <laughs> She'll just melt for you right there. <laughs> All right, so then uh, I'm going to take uh, Judy here out on a date to a restaurant. So you're going you're gonna to get all fancy. Got the uh, Pokemon tablecloth there. <laughs> Candlelit dinner. And uh, <laughs> the key to a good relationship or first date is conversation. So you always gotta have, you know, a mild good conversation. If you're trying to play the the cool kid, maybe not as much. But if you're trying to be the funny guy, you no. Know, Gonna get good lasting conversations like, so uh, how do you feel about pregnant astronauts? Well, what, do you, what do you think would happen? You know, just just wondering. That will certainly spark a conversation. It, trust me on that. It works uh, many a time. So, uh, so you finish up your date, right? You're you're at the restaurant, dropping the candles. And uh, you're going in for the, you bring her home, you, you check the windows to make sure her dad isn't watching you. <laughs> then you go in for the first kiss. And then you're like, so I had a really good time tonight. <laughs> the, the way you're acting, it, it appears to me that you, you had one too. <laughs> but you always get to be prepared for anything like that.
Mike can throw at you during the first kiss. This is actually what happened to me right here. So you always gotta be ready. That takes care of the problem right there. Just have someone on guard. That really has happened to me. Then you look into her eyes and you give her a nice smooch right on the lips. <laughs> oh, baby! But last and certainly not least of all, <laughs> never, never, uh, I'll get out on the runway to do this. Never cut your hair before the first date.